Hi everyone, it's Ray Alina here, and I wanted to teach you how to export contacts from Google um, so that you can add them into MailChimp. So what you'll want to do is make sure that you have a Google account and you will create um, a group on the side here. You can create group, um, you can name your group. I have one for my Limelight customers. I have one for my team leaders, and I have one um, for just our Makeup Missionaries team, which actually needs to be updated because right now I only have 15 people in here. But what I want to show you, the purpose of me doing this is to show you that you would just click on the top. So I've got it on Makeup Missionaries right now, and I'm going to click to export, okay? And then this little message is going to pop up, and I don't want to export all the contacts because that's 515 people. I just want my group. Okay, and I'm going to do that in the uh, in the Google um, format, and I'm going to click Export. Okay. And then I'm going to open this. It's just going to take a minute, but the reason why I'm showing you this is so that I can give an ins instruction of how to do a, um, a mass emailing through MailChimp. And I know there are videos on this, but it didn't show this export portion, which I find to be extremely um, helpful and important. Um, it really helped me out. So, um, okay, let's open this up in my little Google office file that it's opening in. Okay, so now I have everybody listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and save as uh, my makeup missionaries. Um, and I want to save this as, let's see, a template, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Um, now I'm going to exit out of this stuff, and I'm going to go into MailChimp. Okay, so I'm back in my MailChimp, and there's this little section tab here that says lists. And so I have my Makeup Missionaries list, right? but I don't have any subscribers in there yet. Right now I have 50 um, subscribers in my Uplift Beauty newsletter, and that's for clients um, who have either purchased Limelight products or they've purchased um, or they've gotten services with me. Um, you definitely wanna make sure that um, they agree to be added in. Okay, and you could click this little profile guy if you wanna add a subscriber, but first things first, I want to import my makeup missionary contacts. Okay, so copy and paste from a file, next. Um, so then what I would do is go into that little file I just saved and I'm going to select all of these. There is a way to do this that's probably easier that I can't remember right now. <laughs> um, let's try just copying and pasting. Well, wait a minute. Here we go. see what happens if I copy and paste. There might be an easier way to import this, but let's see if this works. Okay, yep, so this is how it goes. So now it's all about matching the columns. So the first one is going to be my column names. This is going to list the names. Um, and then the next ones I can either skip, um, it'll let me skip them if I want to skip them, um, so it won't import that part. Okay, so column name, and I'm just going to kind of skip until I get to the email addresses, and then I can name that column email. 
let's see if this worked. Yeah, here we go. So this is email address column. So everybody's email is in there. So the rest of these, I will just have to go through and just keep skipping. And there may be an easier way to import those. Like I was saying, I did a copy and paste. I think there's another method. But just so you guys get the general idea of how this is done, I'm importing my contacts. And then that way, when I go to do a mailing, um... That way when I go to do a mailing, okay, so that one I saved, I'm skipping, I can keep phone numbers if I want to, I really don't want to, okay, um, so you're going to go through this all the way until the very end. Um, but this way when I go to do an email blast, I have everybody's, I have everybody's uh, come, you know everybody's contact info and it's all good okay skip 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 okay save skip okay so it says show skipped comms, skip all. There we go, next. Now I just have the names and the email address and here we go. These are subscribed, now I'm importing them. And voila, 15 subscribers were added to your list. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you knew this was an option for you, that you could um, import through Google um, into your MailChimp account. And the next video I do will be showing you how to do an email blast um, using this. So now I have subscribers. I'm going to make sure I get everybody in our group who wants to be a part of the newsletter in this. And that way we can do monthly um, emails and... Uh, It'll be just team related, and this will be more important. Um, the bigger that we get, you know, as a team, the more we grow um, to make sure that we're sending an email blast once a month um, and everybody has the most pertinent info. All right, thanks, guys.